I believe that there's more to life than designer clothes, period. I gotta, I gotta pay rent, clearly. Hmm. Call HR, babe. You better call him. You think you can just- Hey everyone, welcome back to Magnus Interlude. Today we're gonna be playing episode, the amount of ads I've had for this game in the past week. It's haunting me. Can I just live my life in peace and harmony and we can move forward? If you're new here, hi, my name is Magda and... Y'all, fill in the blanks. Like, we've been here before. If anything, let's just get to it. The story we're gonna play is called Ruin My Life. Sounds like story of my life. Blake is a smoking hot bad boy millionaire and your ex. I'm so curious on how we got here. Cause I would've stayed for the money. I'm gonna be honest. I would've stayed with the money. Insufficient funds. You ain't got no money. When you start working for his dad, he's determined to get you fired. Does he really hate you or does he still want you? Maybe I could just get with the dad. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Eh. Let me just give it a dad, cause a name like Blake already, I'm like, I know you're a red flag. You're a walking red flag. Walking. Doop 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 doop. Red flag. Okay. We already in bed. Sure. You know what? Sure. Yes, my name is Big Batigyal on episode as well. Stupid hoes is my enemy. Stupid hoes is so wet. I've always considered myself a woman of my word. However. My story starts with a broken promise. The promise I gave to someone I once considered the love of my life. Big batty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up. Blake, you have to promise me something, anything. He kissing on my neck and everything. Why do I feel it? Promise me this will never end. Promise me we'll be together forever. Uh, you're done. Out! You're out! I promise, Blake. Got him! So what went wrong, you ask? Well, it's kind of a long story. Having spent the last three years living and working abroad, I was finally back in my hometown. New York, one and only Chicago, Philadelphia, aka Philly. Uh, let me just hit up the Big Apple. We need some fruit. We need a cleanse from working abroad. New York is definitely not the city I would go to for a cleanse, but... New York, I missed you. Girl, shut up. When I say I lived and worked abroad, I'm talking about England, Sydney, Auckland. Why are they all colonizer cities? Like, y'all couldn't put like Hong Kong, Japan, something with a little zest? You know what? Let's keep it up with the theme of what I enjoy. London. What the fuck is this? Is this a joke? Shut up, you little prick. London, England. I loved it there. But it doesn't compare to my native New York. As a child, I spent a lot of time in my mom's native country. Again, with the white cities. You know what? I'm in Canada. Our home and native land. Beautiful country. My mom grew up there, and in a way, I did too. You're pissing me off. Don't, don't, don't do it. But the most important thing you're gonna learn about me is that I dream of owning a hotel. Everything I've ever done, I've done with this goal in mind. The reason I want to have my own business is because I'm obsessed with money power. Money, the bag. Legally or illegally, we gonna get that money. Money, but then again, who isn't? Facts. The idea of becoming rich on my own without anyone's help has always been appealing to me. After living abroad for three years, I was excited to see my family and friends. I have a coffee date with my college best friend Rita in an hour. Rita, the tea I'm about to spill on you about Blake and his ass. This is for Rachel, you big fat white smelling fat Oh shoot, how do I go back? I skipped a lot. Okay, say you're open to the possibility, say you haven't considered it, say that you're not gonna have it. Um, I'm open to the possibility. I bet you are. Rita, Rita, shut up. Shut up. But I highly doubt I have enough time for dating now. Yes, big butt together, we're on the same page. My new job is gonna be extremely demanding. Yeah, me and my new hotel, me and my new bay, me and my new manager, my new money. I'm gonna be a general manager in a luxury hotel. Shut up. You finally got your dream job? Did you not listen to me all these years? My dream job was to own a hotel, not manage one. There's a catch though. 
I'm gonna work for Wonderland Hotels. Blake's hotel chain? Yeah, and then I'm gonna get with his dad after too. First of all, it's not Blake's. It's owned by his father, but Blake lives there. You're gonna see him there all the time. So what? And okay, pull up now. Tell her you don't mind seeing Blake. Tell her you'll try to stay away from Blake. Tell her it doesn't matter. Okay, you know what? Girl, it doesn't matter. I'm about that money, about that bag. Tell Blake to suck my toes and go away. It's not like it matters. My job comes first, and I'm gonna keep my eye on the prize. Yeah! Aw, oh, not this loser. Ew. Oh, hell no. Ew. Oh, oh, oh. You're ugly. It's the disconnecting beard that really scares me. Just as I thought. Trash. Is that Blake Parker Elling Ellington in the flesh? What is my taste? This is my taste? No wonder this man is about to ruin my life. Not the tribal tattoos. His dick is big. I know it. I know it's big. After all these years, there he was in the same cafe he used to take me to for late night coffee dates. There he was, looking as good as I remembered, only more muscular, probably a little taller too. He had a stone cold expression on his handsome face. I used to be able to read Blake quite well, yet I had no idea what, he, what was going through his head right now. Was he happy to see me? Was he thinking that I look beautiful? Girl, shut up! You broke up! Move on! How do you hoes act like if you ain't in no relationship, you gon' die? Yo. Stand up! And most importantly, did he miss me? You know what? Miss me with that goofy... Miss me with that goofy... Blake, hello! Big butty gal. Wow, I can't believe this is really you. Isn't it strange that both of us happened to come to Moonscape Coffee at the same time? Very, considering that I thought you were in London up until two minutes ago. Okay, with your goofy attitude. Okay, cuz that attitude gotta go out the door. I was, but I'm back in New York now. I feel like that's a better voice. Are you visiting or I think it might be permanent? Yo, She's yo, just yo, back! Yo. She's back! <laughs> I know it's been a while since the last time we spoke, but it's really great seeing you. Girl, you just desperate. All that time in England, you weren't getting nothing? Nothing? You know what, fair enough. I'm glad we ran into each other. And you look, well, incredible. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Seeing them together, I'm so confused on how y'all got together because skinny jeans, tank top, tribal tattoos, ombre silver, plus white wedges, short denim skirt, and whatever the hell you call that top. Y'all live in different worlds. Completely. How did y'all even meet? You haven't changed a bit, yet somehow you look even more beautiful now. Yeah, yeah, you would say that. Hey, do you want to? Blake? <gasps> Okay, who is this? Now nah, this is me. There you are, baby. Yeah! <laughs> he got a new girl. Hey, she black. <laughs> baby, who's the woman you're talking to? This big butty gal. That's his ex. She's just an old friend. The shade. Are you ready to go? Did you get our drinks? Did it <gasps> Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. The fact that they just said they didn't have any chai tea lattes, that's scary because if you know me, you know that I don't drink coffee. I drink a chai latte or like black tea with sugar and milk. Maybe this is my story. Maybe this is about me. Blake, 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 Blake. this girl is delusional. And also the crazy part, side note, I have gotten pissed off when a coffee shop doesn't have chai lattes. To the point where I have been like, you know what, let's find another spot. I don't care, we're going to another spot. And if it's not good, we're going to another spot. I need that fix. I'm officially addicted. I'll see you around, big batty gal. So he has a new girlfriend, of course he does. Oh my goodness, you wanna fight that girl? Period. Let's go. Let's go outside. Go outside for what? We gonna fight. I know it's messed up and she's done nothing wrong, but I can't help but hate her already. Be jealous. Be mad that I took your man. 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 It wasn't even your man to begin with. Bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Why the sad face, babe? I just met Blake's new girlfriend. Honey, 
Blake doesn't have a girlfriend. If you'd like, I could tell you a bit more about Blake's love life. Now, this is the friend that you low-key want around, but you low-key don't want around because they are gonna instigate your feelings. The father of my unborn baby is still best friends with Blake, so I hear things. You didn't even give him a name? Just the father of my un- Okay. Tell me everything you know now. You were Blake's last girlfriend. He hasn't been with anyone since me. Girl, have you seen the way that he looks? Oh, hell no! He called her babe. That's his girlfriend. That's his girlfriend. I take it Blake has reverted to his old player ways. He has. I don't think he truly trusted another woman since you. We do not care. You could say that he still hasn't fully recovered from your breakup. I don't even know what to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we switch the language? Say la vie. Ciao. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. What's another one? Goodbye. It was good seeing you, Rita, but I need to go now. I'm starting my new job on Monday, and there are still quite a few things that I need to do before then. I hope we can hang out again soon. Good luck with your job. Yeah, you better wish me good luck. Thank you, but I don't need luck. I've got it all covered. Period. Good job, big bad to I feel like I'm going through a whirlwind of emotions with this game. Now everybody, they tripping like they popping my- you have two premium business wardrobes to choose them. Okay, girl, just what the hell? Oh my god, where'd you get your outfit? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, now I know where to not shop. Wear an old outfit you have and everyone will judge you. I ain't got no money. Bankrupt, like, like, no money on my car. I have no money, I'm literally wearing pajamas. This shirt that my sister bought me and no. You think I'm buying money for myself in real life? I'm not buying money for an AI girl. We're wearing the old outfit. Damn. That's tough. Damn. Hopefully they don't expect me to wear fancy clothes to work. Girl, you're managing a hotel. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome to Wonderland Hotels. How can I help you? Look at me. I look like a patron. I don't even look like a manager. I'm a new employee and I was wondering if you could tell me where Tony Elling ding 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 Elling ding Ellington is. Angie's rude is because of what you're wearing. Como se dice prejudice? And you're wearing a freaking uniform, so you better shut up. Oh, well, you must be the new member of housekeeping staff. Welcome. There better be a fight scene in this one, because I'm about to knock Angie's little right mole off with that disrespectful attitude. I'm the manager. As a matter of fact, I'm the new general manager. General manager? That can't be true. All the general managers this hotel had would have wear a parada, a panel, a pese. I believe that there's more to life than designer clothes, period. I gotta, I gotta pay rent, clearly. Wow, she really laughed in my face. Hmm. Call HR, babe. You better call him. You think you can just- yeah! Yeah! My camera just died, so I think this is a good place to stop. We're gonna beat up the girl at the front desk, definitely, because how dare you criticize my outfit? How dare you criticize my outfit? I'm gonna be so blunt. Blake, you're a loser. The black girl, period. Sis, whatever. Ciao lattes, bang. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hopefully it's good. Um, but I'll see you in the next one. Bear with me for this next couple weeks because I am fighting for my life out there in the real world. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Boy, bye. Bye, Blake. If you think me, you trying to see what's up. He's looking bad and got a stupid butt.